Hey everybody, it's Mike Cooch. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use Power Editor to uh, set up and manage your Facebook ad campaigns. I'm inside of Power Editor here, and I'll apologize in advance that Power Editor is kind of a, a, a wide format here, so um, it will be a bit difficult for you to see everything that's going on um, on the screen all at once. Uh, I've shrunk down the screen enough that hopefully you can get a good idea of what's going on, but still keep it um, uh, so that you can actually you know see what I'm doing here. It's not so small that uh, it's impossible for you to see. So. Um, over on the left-hand side here, you'll see these three layers. Uh, these represent the three campaign structure layers that we discussed in previous modules. So the first layer here is campaigns, second layer is ad sets, and third layer is ads. Now, I highly recommend that you do all of your ad uh, or your campaign um, building out of Power Editor here versus the regular Facebook Ads Manager. And there's lots of reasons why. One, you get uh, additional functionality from Power Editor than you get in Ads Manager. Uh, also, in Power Editor here, you can easily see this entire campaign structure, so you know um, and can quickly navigate between each of them and, and see everything that you have and everything that you're building. Um, finally, you can make lots and lots of changes all at once and um, not have any of them go live until you hit this Review Changes button and, and then just upload everything at one time. So that makes it very easy for you to come in, review your campaigns. You can copy and paste campaigns, copy and paste ad sets, uh, copy ads, make changes to them. Um, do split tests, all that type of stuff in one shot inside the Power Editor, and then just go ahead and submit everything all at once, rather than in Ads Manager. That's a that's a much much more difficult process, and um, uh, really, you know, everything should be done out of Power Editor, uh, unless you're using a third party tool like Ad Espresso or something like that, which is a tool that I use. Um, but Power Editor is a great one as well. So if you're just getting started, I, I suggest you just stick here. Um, now, following this structure, campaigns, ad sets, and ads, we're just going to go right through it here to create a new campaign. So you can see here I've got this Create Campaign button. So I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign. I'm going to give it a name. Now, um, you know, of course, normally I'd have you follow a, a naming structure. Um, you know, For purposes here, real quick, I'll just put test three. Um, but typically what I would do is I would name this by my campaign objective first. So let's say it's a click the website ad. So I just put CTW as a quick little code to be able to see what I'm doing. And then um, uh, I would put um, you know the brand. Um, and actually, I'd put the brand first. So let's just say I had a, you know, this was kill my job ad. So I just put KMJ space, click the website. Okay. And this is nice, easy, you know, code for me to be able to see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this uh, test three in front of it here. Just to, uh, I'll just make a test here. Just make it easy for me to identify real quick, but um, test KMJ, click the website. Um, I, I always do auction bidding. So I'm leaving that as auction. And then here's where you choose your objective. Click the website is what I chose up here anyway, but you could do any of your ad objectives here. Okay. So you just pick which one you want to do. Uh, the far majority of my uh, at campaigns I'm running are either click the website, website conversion, or video views. Um, but depending on what your objective is, use the objective that matches inside of Facebook. And then you can go ahead and create an ad set here. It says choose an ad set. It's because if you had an ad set that you wanted to go ahead and use, you could you know use an existing, but we're going to create a new one. And in our ad set uh, is where we're going to determine you know budget and audience and things like that. Um, but this can be all edited once it's created here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put placeholder. Okay, because we'll change this once we get to our ad set level. And then I'll go ahead and do the same for ad placeholder ad. Okay, so we go ahead and create this. And again, what we're doing here is we're creating at the campaign level, ad set level, and ad level all at one time. You don't have to do them all from here at one time. I could have just added the campaign and then come into the campaign and added my ad set, then gone into my ad set and added my ads. But I usually create placeholders at least for all three of them at once. So here I am at the campaign level. And you can see at the campaign level, there's really not much to it at all. You, you've you know chosen your objective and your buying type. Um, and if you have a campaign spending limit, you could adjust that here. Uh, I don't ever do that. Um, I do a daily spend limit, which is set at the uh, ad set level, which I'll show you. Um, but really, that's all there is to it at the campaign level. The campaign um, level is really just kind of a, a bucket to hold certain types of campaigns. So this is a, a click to website objective campaign for get my job. That's all there is to it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click down to the ad sets. Now you can see here because I have selected uh, the campaign level here, what it should do is when I click to ad sets, it should show me automatically there. You can see it's selected the right ad set based on what I had selected up here at the campaign level. And that's important because once you get a bunch of ads in here, um, you know, it can be a little bit more difficult to see, am I working on the right um, ad set for the right ad, so, or for the right campaign. So what you should be able to do up here, and it may not, it's not always working, but if I click on the campaign that I want to work on, and right up here you can see I have it selected and I hit apply, it should, <laughs> it doesn't always work, it should get rid of these other campaigns from my view. So I'm not confused as to what I'm working on at all. And then it would only show the ad sets from that campaign as well. 
Um, but unfortunately it's not really cooperating here. And sometimes it doesn't cooperate. Um, sometimes that's because Facebook's doing updates to it. Sometimes that's because of some sort of bugginess with your browser. You just kind of have to live with that, unfortunately. Um, so now we're at the ad set level. Okay. The ad set level is where I would set my daily budget and that's how I run all my campaigns. I, I do it on a daily budget, not a lifetime budget. And I'm going to put in the amount of money I want to spend in here. Uh, I can put a, um, a start date. I could also put an end date if I wanted to, but again, unless I'm running a campaign that I know I want to stop on a specific date, you know, because it really is a, a date based campaign. Maybe there's an event or something like that. Um, I just schedule it um, and don't schedule an end date. I just let it run as ongoing. And then here is where you're going to choose your audience. Okay. So United States, if you want to target a specific location in the United States, you can do it here. If you want to target other countries, then you could add it up here. Um, specific you know, age ranges. So I want to target 25 to 65 plus and just women. I would do that here, set languages. Um, and here is where you'll get into, you know, putting interests and behaviors and things like that. So um, if I just typed in here that um, I was targeting yoga, okay, then I would just uh, pull up all the yoga targeting options up in here um, and just pick, you know, whatever it is that I wanted to target. And I can just continue adding more and more um, interests here to build up the audience that I want to have. Okay. Um, so very easy to do that. Um, and then you can, you know, you can get into also other, uh, modes of targeting as well um, from uh, inside this um, inside this interface. So if I wanted to go after not just interest, but I want to go after uh, you know behaviors and uh, other targeting categories, which there are just so many of them in here that are available to you, uh, I really do recommend you just get in here and dig to see all the options. Um, but don't get overwhelmed. Go back to our targeting um, exercise that I showed you and, and stick with the fundamentals first. Um, you can choose a connection type here. So you can say people who like your page, friends of people who like your page. These are very powerful strategies. Um, as you get a little bit more experience and you get some, some people, you get a good audience of people that have liked your page. These are very um, powerful tools to be able to use. Um, if you have an app, if you have uh, events that you promoted, then you can, again, um, target people based on their connections to these things here. Um, you can here just quickly choose what it is exactly you're going to target. So we do mobile newsfeed, desktop newsfeed, desktop right column. You can specify specific devices if you like. So iOS devices versus Android devices, you can say um, only market to them when they're connected on Wi-Fi because you may believe that, you know, people only shop when they're um, actually like connected to a network, not when they're, when they're walking around or driving around, but when they're connected to a network and they're kind of sitting still. So you could do that only when connected to Wi-Fi if you wanted to test that. Um, and then because I chose a click to website ad, Facebook has automatically defaulted to the optimization strategy, the ad delivery optimization and the bid strategy that it recommends. And I just leave these alone. We'll just do what Facebook recommends. Leave this as a link clicks the website and go ahead and leave the bid amount as automatic as we've discussed in our previous modules. Okay. So you're just going to leave that there and you've built up your audience. Now I would go ahead and change my naming structure in here because I would say, um, you know, I'm targeting us women, 25 to 65 plus yoga interests. Okay. So I would just put something like this so I can easily determine what it is that I've got here in this campaign. Okay. And then we would go to the actual ad level. So again, normally what I do is I'd hit apply in these other ad sets with disappear, but it didn't work here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go down the ad name. You can see it selected the placeholder ad that I created. And, um, I'm going to choose the page that I'm going to be promoting. Okay. So I choose a uh, bargain blimp here, one of our pages, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm actually going to, to, uh, create my ad. Okay. So this is where I would put in the URL oops, that I wanted to promote. Okay. So here it is. Um, and then here's where you'd upload an ad image. So you just upload a, an image uh, for these ads, 1200 by 628 is your, um, is your ad size, your image size that you should use. Um, you could also promote an existing post. If you had a post on your Facebook page that you want to promote, uh, you could do that. Um, you can do, they have the new canvas capability. So you do a new canvas ads. It's an advanced thing that you don't need to worry about yet though. And then here's where you're going to put your text text for my ad. Okay. And you can see here, it shows up above my image, your headline. This is your headline. It's going to show up. You'll see here right below your image. It's the bigger font here. And then the news leak, uh, news feed description is right here. And all this, you know, this is your description. Okay. And you can see that shows up right below your headline. So nice and easy to create the ad. You can see here it's showing you the recommended image size and things like that. Um, and then you can choose a, uh, call to action button here if you'd like. And I usually use these, but you can definitely split test, um, to see what works best. This is you know, when, when people see this, obviously it's very clearly an, an ad, but, um, sometimes that's okay to very clearly tell people, Hey, you're staring at an ad. Um, and then you want to make sure that you have your right pixel selected. Okay. Make sure that you've got a pixel selected so that you can, um, get your, your tracking done effectively. Okay. So that's it. That's power editor. I've gone through and I've created my campaign, my ad set and my ad. Um, and what I would do now is I would just hit this review changes button. 
nice thing is, is this tells you any errors that you have before you try and upload it. So you can see here I've got some errors here. So and it's going to tell me start time must be in the future. So I set a start time when I was building these uh, as a demo before, and um, I just need to go in and change the dates on the ads. It's going to tell me please select the page that I'm promoting. So it's very nice. It gives you this you know review, and what you can do is you can either go back and change all those now, or you can um, just select you know only the campaigns that you want to actually. Uh, upload where you know you don't have any errors. You hit continue. This will upload everything that you've selected up into your account all at once so that you can get uh, all of those ad campaigns going at one time, which is pretty nice. Now, just some quick things to show you, uh, just to show you why Power Editor is so nice and powerful and easy. Let's say that I wanted to go ahead and um, run this exact same ad set, okay, but I wanted to target some slightly different interests. All I have to do here is check it go right here to this duplicate button, hit duplicate, hit keep existing campaign because I'm going to keep it in my um, uh, keep it in my KMJ uh, click the website campaign because it's I'm just doing the exact same objective. I hit create, and now it's just brought up. You can see her a copy. So I could you know I could say maybe instead of in this case I'm going to go after meditation instead of yoga. So I'm going to change this to meditation, and I'm going to then go down to my targeting and I'm just going to delete these. And instead of yoga I'm going to put in meditation, and okay we've got so we've got all kinds of interest here that we could add. And then that's it. It's, it's really, really nice and simple. Now I've got a meditation campaign. Now most likely what I would do is I would also go to my ads. And um, I now have this you know additional ad in here uh, because I duplicated the campaign. And I forgot to edit the name of this ad. So we'll go ahead and edit this one. This was my yoga ad. And now I've got a new meditation ad. And most likely what I should do here is you know change my copy, change my image a little bit to uh, be more meditation focused than yoga focused. But it just depends on what my previous ad was. It may work exactly as is. But assuming I want to make some changes, I just come in here, change this. And then I go ahead and hit my review changes again. And I've got a new ad set and new uh, set of ads running. Now, likewise, let's say that inside of this meditation ad set that I just created, maybe I want to split test some different ads. Well, in that case, I'm now down at the ad level. What I would do is I would just pick this ad because this is my meditation ad. I'd hit duplicate again and I would keep existing campaign again. And now I've got inside of the same ad set, I've got two different ads running. Okay, so this is my copy now. So what I could do is I could go in and change this image, change the copy, and then I would just call this a, you know, meditation two. And then I would go ahead and run that. And now I'm doing a split test because I've got one ad set running with, you know, one budget, but that's now being split between two different ads. So now I could see, you know, is ad one performing better than ad two. So that's how you do a split test in Power Editor. Nice and easy. Um, you know, Power Editor, I, I know <laughs> the first, I don't know, dozen times I used it. It's a little bit mind boggling. It seems like there's a lot to it. it can be confusing. I promise you, if you just stick with it, use it for a couple of weeks, use it every day, spend a half an hour in here every day, uh, you'll really, really appreciate it. And, um, you will, you will learn that you can work much more efficiently out of Power Editor than you can out of the Ads Manager. Okay, so that's an introduction to Power Editor. And uh, like I said, highly recommend you dive in and use it. And um, Power Editor, by the way, is just uh, access from inside of your, um, your uh, business account there. And um, it's automatically you know, connected up to the account that um, you've set up. So um, nice and easy to access and uh, recommend, highly recommend that you use it.